We do have some video that uh, was captured earlier this morning. This was of a 8.17 a.m. Central Time pass of uh, space station's flyover of Hurricane Katia. Uh, of course, Karen was uh, also trying to capture some additional video of Katia that will be available later on a video file on NASA television. Also be available on your uh, NASA website. As you can see, Katya is uh, moving uh, at a speed of about 29 miles per hour in a northeastward movement. It's uh, currently, though it's not shown on uh, this video, it's currently in a path that uh, is between Bermuda and Nova Scotia. The winds of uh, Katya remain at about 85 miles per hour as it uh, makes travel over the Atlantic. Garen has uh, spent some time today capturing video of the two hurricanes, uh, he's, or actually the one hurricane, Hurricane Katia, along with Tropical Storm Nate. Nate uh, at this time is at winds of about 65 miles an hour. A hurricane watch has been set for Tampica, along with Veracruz, uh, that uh, is expected to, uh, Nate is expected to turn into a hurricane, uh, and we'll be watching that. and. Uh, the astronauts on board the space station will be capturing video whenever possible. Again, you're watching some video of Hurricane Katia as she travels over the Atlantic Ocean uh, on a northeastward movement at uh, at about 29 miles per hour, the winds of uh, Katia are still remaining uh, in Hurricane, uh, which is an 85 mile an hour wind for uh, Katia. This hurricane now uh, proposes uh, no threat to the United States, but it is again traveling in a northeastward movement over the Atlantic. Close to the last block, anyway. And I uh, have the EHS water kit out from earlier, 11.75. And I'm supposed to get out of it a microbial analysis kit, 1176. That is, does not appear to be. I'm going to bust into the CTB and see if I can find it floating loose or something. Uh, unless you have another idea. They've been capturing some video of uh, Hurricane Katia along with Tropical Storm Nate. We're going to bring you some of that video of Tropical Storm Nate coming up here on NASA TV. You see it now. Uh, Nate is in the very far right-hand corner. Again, Tropical Storm Nate uh, is traveling, is about uh, 230 miles above the Earth. It was uh, recorded at that time. It's, uh, that uh, video was captured this morning uh, as it uh, was making a, a pass over um, the Gulf of Mexico. It's uh, drifting very slowly, drifting northwestward over the Bay of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico with winds of about 60 miles, 65 miles per hour. That puts it at tropical storm level. It's moving at about three miles per hour. Already, uh, Tampico and Veracruz have uh, been issued a hurricane watch. So uh, again, we'll be watching, uh, NASA will be watching as uh, the hurricanes make their progress and capturing video whenever possible. All of this video is available on the web on nasa.gov and it also will be shown later today on the NASA video files. Again, you're looking at Nate. It's expected to uh, strengthen to a hurricane by tomorrow, September 10th, moving west to southwest to make landfall along the south-central Mexican coastline. I'm sorry, I'm on... Mike, I'm with you on two. Is that where you're at? Yeah, Josh, I am. That uh, was a video of Tropical Storm Nate that you were watching. And again, we have rejoined the flight control room here at the Johnson Space Center.